Let's check in on safety at big events in mid-Missouri. The city of Columbia has several summer events that bring many people from all over the city. And another new summer event is right now up for discussion and a vote at the Columbia City Council meeting. ABC 17's Layla Mitchell is live from City Hall tonight. Layla, you were able to speak to some people downtown today about how safe they feel at big events. Yeah, Lucas, and people I spoke to downtown today told me they're uneasy when going pretty much anywhere after the recent mass shootings. And one resident said that even last night at Fire in the Sky, the fireworks event in Columbia, he felt uneasy and wasn't sure what was going to happen. This type of public event, even like going to the grocery store, like it's kind of always in the back of my mind. Like I'm just worried about like anything could happen at this point. On the heels of the recent mass shooting in Highland Park, residents tell me enjoying crowded places and events is not the same. Like a big gathering of people, I feel like something could go wrong like that. And Roots and Blues, drinks in the district, and show me state games are just some of the events held in the city throughout the summer. And Nikki Davis with the district CID tells me while safety is a priority for the district and city, there are ways to make it safer. We would love to get the lights installed that we have asked the city install over a year ago almost. Tonight at Columbia City Council, an item on the agenda was for a summer concert downtown, organized by Dan Rader, a local business owner. I spoke to Rader today over the phone, and he told me he cannot yet comment on security details. Rader has requested closure of 6th Street from Cherry Street to Locust Street for the concert. According to the application Rader submitted, the performer at the concert would be internationally famous. And I reached out to Columbia Police to learn more about their safety measures when they work a lot of the events downtown. I'll update you as soon as I get that information. For now, reporting live in Columbia, Layla Mitchell, ABC 17 News.